good morning to you all. Here we go again. Uh, today is archery, and I think this just needed to be blogged, being that there was talk about if you didn't have a bag of sorts, um, you would just be able to walk right into the venue, but that's not happening. They are going to security check everybody. So whether you have a watch on or not, you still got to go through the thing. I was hoping that I'd open with something a little more uh, prestigious, but uh, we'll see what it looks like inside. Archery, day one. Well, everybody's been hearing me gripe about my tickets. Here we are at my first event, and of course, this is the Lord Cricket Get Grounds. It's a very impressive venue, I'd say. Um, music's cranking. I don't know where. I guess they shoot from right over here. And this is my view, and they got my A-category ticket so far away that if I had one more seat, I would actually fall right off the uh, balcony here. I'm actually dumbfounded by all this, you know. I don't understand. But um, nevertheless, that's the inside. I'm going to try not to complain about that because it is the Olympics, but I am a little irked considering I paid top dollar for my ticket. And this is the best I can do. All right, uh, I will give you some news while the event takes place. go on record and say that the Brits have been nothing but kind, nice, and helpful. I went to go tell them that I found out there was a ticket resolution counter, and she immediately changed my ticket to right here. I find that this is more appropriate for my Category A price. Ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, please welcome the contenders for the men's team. Team. It's going to help me for the other event. Elimination uh, show has begun. Just out of the tent. Eight. Yeah. Only the second shot out of the goal to bring the entire this. match. A couple more of those, and we're good. It's a nine. Final three arrows for the team of Great Britain. Yeah, I've made it. 
I'll come back. And eight points to finish. The action well, from the archery. Thirteen for GBR, and I'm not. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop filming. Ten points. <laughs> and Ukraine clinches the match with one arrow to go. Wow, that was tough. Ochin Harasho, Ukraine! Stumbling on a landmark, I'm on my way out of here from Lord Cricket Grounds where I just saw the archery and I come across this Beatles coffee shop and apparently Abbey Road is like five minutes up the, up the street so I'm going to be taking a little sidebar on my trip and uh, before I go to the gymnastics tournament I am going to go see Abbey Road. You have got to be kidding me. How many people are going to mimic that walk? How many? Here goes a group right here. <laughs> that is hilarious. Hey, you know I'm going to try it. Well, I would say that this is... I would say that this is sacred ground. This is the Abbey Road, once walked by... Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, John Lennon, and George Harrison. Featured on the famous Abbey Road album. I think that's a nice landmark to run into. With a double decker bus. How cool is this? Hanging out at Abbey Road. Everybody's mimicking the walk. It's from this direction, away from us. You can see this girl's got it down pat. She needs a little longer legs, of course, but uh, um, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say a bit of trivia. I believe that there's a set of albums that John Paul McCartney is wearing shoes and not wearing shoes. Does somebody want to check that fact? Paul McCartney is not wearing shoes. But he has. There is a couple albums that he was wearing shoes. I thought there was a release yeah. of it. Is that true? No, of Abbey Road. Of Abbey Road, shoes? he's oh. always never wearing shoes. I'm pretty sure that's not true. All right, I think I was just corrected. You know me and my facts. Who's next? Wow, that person actually thought that she was going to actually use the crosswalk. <laughs> Stop crossing the, the street. <laughs> <laughs> 